Hi Aquarius, welcome to your first through the 15th of June tarot reading. Um, I'm Serafina Safi. This is Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be having bi-monthly tarot readings every first and every 15th of the month. I'll be posting a new video. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more and also that little bell icon so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Um, so let's get started. We're going to do, be doing a Celtic cross reading today. We're going to be exploring your inner and outer world and uh, see where you are presently, where you want to be, and where people see you as being. And also, um, I have a new website that just launched. It's in the description box below if you'd like to check that out. That'd be cool. Um, so can you please give me one card for... Aquarius uh, for the central theme of the reading for Aquarius. One card for the central theme of the reading for Aquarius. One card for the central theme of the reading for Aquarius. One card for the central theme of the reading for Aquarius. Alright, so it's giving me three. <laughs> It's giving me there's a union. There's a union of some sort. And it's blocking your self expression. It's blocking yourself. So, this union that you're in is blocking your self expression, and you need compassion. What's presently affecting Aquarius, June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What's presently affecting Aquarius, June 1st through the 15th? Okay, so I have short-term victories. The six, you can't rest on your laurels alone. It, you, there's a parade here. There's public recognition. This is the six of wands in the upright, um, but it's short-term. It's just short term, but there is victories here, presently. What's crossing the Six of Wands in the present for Aquarius? What's crossing? What's crossing? What's crossing presently? Okay, so I have unable to let go. We have the world, which is a major life event, and it's in the reverse. So this is somebody who is unable to let go. There isn't an ending of a cycle because you can't let go of it. In the upright, it's ending a cycle. It's a completion. But in the reverse, you're unable to end the cycle. You're unable to move on. When the past is affecting Aquarius is present. When the, okay, so I have... the moon. So this is Pisces energy. This is Pisces energy and it's in the reverse. So there could have been some drug addiction. There could have been um, some disillusionment here, some secrets, some betrayal. And it could have been with a Pisces. What else in the past is affecting Aquarius's present? What else in the past is affecting? Ooh. No, it's the whole freaking deck. What else in the past is Affecting Aquarius's project. Okay, so all right, there could be a Gemini involved. So we have. We have some major life events here. So presently there's a major life event. There's an unable to let go of the past. In the past there's the moon, which is another major life event. And that is being betrayed. Um, drug addiction, alcoholism, 
Then we have the lovers, and it's in the upright, and that's in the past, and this is Gemini. This is a perfect type of love. We also have um, the Wheel of Fortune, which is all about good luck. So this is this was beautiful. It was very lucky, very abundant. And then we have the Ace of Cups, which is the beginning of a new love. Um, not just any type of love. This is an amazing, emotionally fulfilling love, and that's affecting the present. And um, yeah, so the, there could have been a Pisces or a Gemini involved. And uh, there was betrayal in the past, but there was this massive, major love. It could have been a love for a child, a Gemini child. Um, and that's causing short-term victories presently, um, but you're unable to let go of the past betrayal. You're, you're looking away from it, but you're still, it's still haunting you. What is Aquarius most afraid of? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What is Aquarius most afraid of? <coughs> June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Aquarius most afraid of. Aquarius most afraid of. Okay, so you're afraid of emotional immaturity. You're afraid of creative blocks. You're afraid of somebody who is just being childish. How does Aquarius, what does Aquarius truly wish for? June 1st through the 15th. What does Aquarius truly wish for? June 1st through the 15th. You truly wish for the happy family, emotional security, abundance, the house, the children, just happiness, just being able to survive and live and just be happy and overly abundant. There's a com an emotional completion here, the Ten of Cups in the upright. How does Aquarius view themselves? How does Aquarius view themselves? How does Aquarius view themselves? You view yourself as somebody who's being judged constantly, somebody who's constantly put under a microscope and being judged and unable to move on. There's no finality there. And that's a major life event. So there's lots of major life events here. So it looks like June 1st through the 15th is going to be a massive time for you, Aquarius. How do other people view Aquarius? June 1st through the 15th. How do other people view Aquarius June 1st through the 15th? They view you as somebody who doesn't have any new beginnings. Somebody there's delays, there's a lack of motivation, um, there's a need for exercise, somebody who's weighed down. What's coming towards Aquarius? What's coming towards Aquarius? June 1st through the 15th. What's coming towards Aquarius? June 1st through the 15th. What's coming towards Aquarius? June 1st through the 15th. All right, so I see that you're giving. Um, the Six of Pentacles, this is giving, giving to charities, being a humanitarian. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is Aquarius giving? The Eight of Pentacles. So this is very grounded energy. This is um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles is about education. So you're giving of your education. You're giving of your skills. What is the outcome for Aquarius? What is the outcome for Aquarius? All right, so I have the star, which is your card, in the reverse. The star is all about renewed. It's a major life event. So a major life event is coming. So the star... There, there isn't a renewed faith. 
there's um, unfulfilled hope. There's unfulfilled hope here. It, it's right before fantasy and illusions of the moon. And the moon was in the past. So it's like you're working your way backwards. Um, so the next... The next would be the tower. So you need to be aware of that. Um, so there could be destruction. Both of these are in the reverse. So it would be the tower in reverse, which would be an act of God. Um, so it's like you're working your way back because in the past we have the moon and then in the outcome we have the star. So the one that would come after that would be the tower in the reverse and that would be an act of God. Um, but this is, this is unfulfilled hopes. So whatever in yeah this just popped out like look it's there's nothing there and this was just laying there so we have Pisces again here so there's a Pisces haunting you in this spread or is that just that Pisces energy of somebody who's very intuitive very psychic very um, has escapist behaviors um, but with the uh, there's, there's somebody who's emotionally balanced and in control in the um, king of cups upright. So it's somebody who, so you need emotional balance. That's what it's saying. For your um, unfulfilled hopes, you need emotional balance. There's power in being emotionally balanced. Harmony in being emotionally balanced. And sanctuary in being emotionally balanced. Well, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, let's see if there's any other advice. Is there any other advice for Aquarius? Any other advice for Aquarius? Any other advice for Aquarius? Kindred spirit. So you need to be around people that are of kindred spirit as you. Somebody who's like-minded. And that will help you through this difficult time of unfulfilled hopes. You need to be with somebody who is uh, like-minded too. And there's going to be harmony. And sanctuary. In that. That's what you need. And that brings power. There's a need for balancing. Well, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you want bi-monthly tarot readings from me, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I have a new video um, uploaded and I hope that you enjoyed your reading today and if it resonated please comment let me know in the description box I just launched a new website uh, feel free to check that out if you want to share this please share it with uh, your friends and family I have a playlist so they can just pick their zodiac that'd be awesome um, thank you again for joining me today have a wonderful evening